After Roberto Mancini's sacking on Monday night, reports are beginning to suggest that it was poor club relationships that are to blame for his downfall. But however precarious his relationship with the chairman board and some of the players may have been, his connection with the fans has never been in doubt. He guided City to their first piece of silverware for 35 years for the FA Cup in 2011 and their first top flight title for 44 years in 2012. With such historic successes, it's no surprise that some are shocked by the decision to axe him. Disappointed. I think he did a good job. He had a lot of money to spend, but he did do a good job. Uh, I like a bit of stability at the club. I feel as though we've lost that now. Uh, I've been coming to uh, watch Manchester City since uh, 1965, and in all that time, in my opinion, he's, a, he's the best manager we've ever had. Run-ins with players like Mario Balotelli and Carlos Tevez made sure Mancini had a colourful three-and-a-half-year tenure at City. But fans are divided on what gave him the final shove out of the Etihad. When he lost the Championship, Champions League, that's what went wrong. And then it went down it after that. Um, the rest of the team, they just look knackered. They look, they look like they couldn't be bothered. They look like they're drinking too much champagne and they're just, they're just living the high life and really need to focus on football brought in to do a very specific thing and he's done that. It's time to move on and onwards and upwards to the next. Whatever the reason, the Manchester City management have set something of a precedent. If Mancini's demise is anything to go by, it'll be silverware or bust for his successor.